Hello students. We need to go through the English Romanticism. As we discussed in our last lecture that the theorist who propounded their theories were William Wordsworth, S.T. Coleridge, P.B. Sherry, Lord Byron and John Keats. So these fellow poet and theorist propounded their respective theories in the respective book. As we have seen, Romanticism is a reaction to Neoclassicism. The Romantics strongly believed on that Neoclassical vision of human life is no longer influential and beneficial. So, they strongly criticized Neoclassical rules. Neoclassical rules were or reasons were based on rational and not on emotional, say, understanding of human life. It is universally applicable and the characteristics to hu human behavior. Romantics, on the other hand, favored the sentimental, emotional and individual descriptions of human life. Apart from this philosophical differences, Romanticists broke away from the literary composition of the poetry and literature. The neoclassical rules were fixed with decorum and with a distinct literary style that imitate imitation of that is imitation of classical rules and human nature. But the romanticist broke, broke away from these neoclassical literary style and subject matter. So, the style was characterized by preference for boldness over restraint, suggestiveness over clarity, and freedom from the rules of composition, genre, and decorum. The next type of is that love for nature is the defining feature of Romanticism. The Romantics regarded it as living and liberating force. They opposed utilitarian rationalist approach. It was through nature that they tried to establish the communion with the entire world and it appealed to them in different forms and offered the whole range of human experience, pleasure and pain, temporariness and permanence, mortality and immortality, beauty and truth. So imagination is the key term of Romanticism. This was a change from the mimetic theory of art to the expressive theory. The Romantics thought about imagination as a dynamic, active and unifying faculty. It helped to recreate reality and unite both reason and feelings. Individualism is also one of the important features of Romanticism. Romanticists did not follow the already established views and conventions but believed strongly in the authority of experience. They were democratic in their approach. So, at the same time, regarded individual freedom and thought highly. Romanticists also believed on the individualistic qualities, emotions, and everything that we can think of, of the entire emotion and strong feelings. It is in the human nature, it is in the human mind that the enlightenment have generated, the romanticist tries to uh, exploit them. 
romanticist dislikes the unpleasant mechanical and competitive nature of city life and preferred the simple primitive as well as uncorrupted life of the countryside so this is one of the feature of romanticism romanticism can be uh, studied in the three versions that we already have gone through the german version was largely philosophical religious in nature and were influenced by kant's romantic principles of art beauty sublimity french romanticists were a aesthetic and had artistic tilt was also greatly influenced by jean jacques rousseau romanticists also believed on the theories that madame de stael franco's reign and shorty brown victor hugo in the romantic literature english romanticism included writers and poets who produced literary criticism outlining the ideals of movement blake walter scott and now classed as romantic writers but writers and critics began to identify the romantic from the 18th century onwards and these romanticists were very famous in the english literature that we see the the poets like st conridge who propounded his theory in biographia literaria a poem in conridge's view is a metrical composition that opposes the works of science because its object is to give the pleasure and not truth the poet is born he has magical power of imagination which creates which helps him create visions of his life kubla khan along with him william wordsworth wrote his preface to lyrical ballads on a stick or religious suggestion he was writing and was in favor of common people the language of the common people living from the mechanist critics this background provides a good context to understand what's what's position view of the poet purpose of poetry each justifies the style subject matter and language of the poems it included the lyrical ballads also makes general statements about poetic language and nature and scope of the poetry in the very beginning of the preface verse would make it clear that he is against grand stylized artificial use of language he points out that the long use of such polished language by the poets turn into a rigid poetic diction and to be replaced by ordinary speech the lyrical ballads and the preface is written to choose incidents and situations from common life to orient the thought process of the romantic era that described the language used in the poetry the choice is given to the full scope of imagination in turn imagination makes ordinary things look unusual and interesting wordsworth further explains in detail the reasons for his choice of low and rustic life as themes of his poem so it can express the essential passion it not constrained by structural and thematic restraints it's make use of simple and emphatic language it's clear that 
Wordsworth rejects the language used in the city and the court. Wordsworth dismisses the importance of neoclassical poetic diction and personification of abstract ideas. It is artificial. Wordsworth takes up the issue of the poet, his nature and role. He examines the institution of the poet in relation to its definition and nature, its use of language. For Wordsworth is no not a singer of great, uh, great glories, but he has certain qualities which set him apart, though, like sensibility, enthusiasm, and greater knowledge of human beings, human nature. So he frees, Wordsworth frees the poet from the classical rules, no neoclassical rules that requires the poet, but he oriented the poet towards the romantic concept. The purpose of the poetry as per William Wordsworth's theory is a man from distinct from the man of science. The man of science tries to seek the truth in a remote and unknown benefactor or celebrates it in solitude. He works in isolation and celebrates alone. The poet, on the other hand, sings a song with other humans and rejoices in the presence of truth. He contributes to build the vast empire of human society with the help of passion and knowledge. Poetry is not the result of reason or rule, it is the result of imagination. He famously def uh, defined poetry as a spontaneous overflow of powerful emotions. It takes its origin from emotion recollected in tranquility. The emotion is contemplated till by a species of reaction, the traditional uh, tranquility genera gradually disappears and emotion kindred to with that which has before the subject of contemplation is gradually produced. So this may be simply stated as the poet seeks inspiration and develops his emotions in nature. His emotions are excited are made into the poem with the help of images of in nature. So we have seen William Wordsworth discusses the point, the use of nature in poetry, but he does not approve that nature because he thinks that it imposes certain kind of a, a restrictions on the power of poetry to excite the powerful emotions. So with this we have seen the William Wordsworth's theory of romanticism.